Welcome to my channel. My name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do another reading. This time we're going to be exploring They Left to play house with another. And let's have a look, shall we? So for you repeat offenders, I want to thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate you. And for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome. I hope that all of you find exactly what it is that you're seeking. All right. So let's get a little bit on this connection. They left you to play house with another. And keep in mind, I'm only reading in the broad sense. If you need a personal reading, find someone who can do that for you or let me know. They left you to play house with another. And now they have regrets. I'm feeling a sharp pain. It's more mentally. They could be going through some mental anguish. And actually, I don't usually take all of these cards like this. But here we are. We're taking them. Fashionista. You know how to dress apart, accentuating your best features and making heads turn your way, becoming the center of attention wherever you go. I feel like this person has a lot of pride, a lot of self-worth. Maybe they are the fashionista and they feel like they like heads to turn their way. And I feel like this is more your energy. Mystifying, you exude mystery, teasing the mind with the unknown. That will help others embrace the obscure and change oh and charge ahead fearlessly so i don't feel like they ever fully understood or knew you not to the fullest that they could have self-reliance to an independent free spirit who's here to learn and teach love and freedom enabling others experience and master self-love and independence this was your lesson you were always a mystery to them. They were too self-absorbed to really give you the attention and depth that you needed. Relationships. You have a talent for mentoring or counseling relationships. Having the ability to guide others to their path to love because of your own experiences in love. So that was part of the lesson that you took away from this um, initial relationship. That was the winning card, let's say. It's helped you to empathize and really help other people as well. Two sides, you have two extreme sides. And yet with much grace and poise, this ability gives you an advantage by keeping them in wonder. Again, that mystery, okay? And I feel like they're circling back to see that they never really saw you to begin with. They're too self-absorbed. The warrior, you have a great warrior spirit, not afraid to face conflict and challenges, while at the same time maintain committed to a path of goodwill and fairness. So you have rolled up your sleeve and gotten your hands dirty. I feel like with this connection, it has forced you to really go even deeper within, to pull out things that you have never thought that you would really understand or need to understand about yourself. Look. Clear sentience. You have the ability to feel deeply into situations, places, or people, sensing something beyond the physical realm. And I also feel like you knew intuitively something was going on. Now that's, you know, a typical um, gut reaction that a lot of us have when things are going sideways with our relationship. We know intuitively that something is going on. <clears throat> but I think that yours was even more um more refined because you are clear sentient and i think that for some of you this is, could have like um been a catalyst into exploring your gifts even further okay this came out reverse upside down <clears throat> the nurturer a life-changing gifts is the influence of a nurturing woman that provides love or man you guys okay support protection and encouragement to teach others and grow and develop but this person was not a nurturer at all okay so that's why this came up reverse they are a taker and yeah they might look really really good that's part of it <clears throat> but that's also part of their downfall because they rely on that Look, self-love. We all know that self-love can be a negative or a positive thing. And I feel like in this case, they've taken things to an extreme. 
um, that self-love led to more like a self-indulgence and it became something that they got obsessed with and I feel like image is everything to them okay um, I feel like how they look was one of the reasons why they left. They thought they could have an upgrade without you. And I know that's gonna maybe make some people angry, but that's what I'm getting. I'm just here to read you what, exactly what I'm getting. So I feel like they thought they were gonna have a glow up or <clears throat> some additional benefit that you somehow could not provide. Um, and it's, you know, the, the quintessential grass is always greener and they're finding out that that indeed is not true for sure. Okay, so this has cost them dearly, and uh, I feel like it's refined you. I wasn't expecting these cards to come out like that. I thought I'd get more about the relationship itself, but this, like, really plummeted them into a space where they kept self-seeking, self-gratification, things like that, without any, um, any desire to see what was going on around them or how this affected them, per se, okay? And you became the daughter of water so you started listening more to your inner voice and you started listening more to spirit and you turned within as well they turned within in a materialistic way thinking oh jewels and money and you know fly glasses and great hairstyles getting your hair done professionally and all this stuff but really they failed to embrace the sun of water which is what they are here to do they are definitely a counterpart to you. Look at, I mean, you have, you know, <clears throat> you're almost equals in a lot of ways. But look, this is what is stopping this person. This person is stuck on the money. What I tell you, they're stuck on image. They're stuck on obsession. They're stuck on unrealistic, old, outmoded ways of thinking. And they don't care how many people fall or how many people around them fall. This person could have sacrificed their own family because they see even almost like a family here in the pursuit of money and this pursuit of dominion, of wanting to dominate, of being dogmatic, of rulership, of trying to attain something, um, status, okay? They wanted people to really think that they're doing super well, that, oh, look at what they're driving, look, they have a house, look, they have a few houses. Um, and image was everything. And I feel like they went on a pursuit um, and you went a different route, okay? So this is why they chose someone else. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I'm feeling that deep regret. I'm feeling like, almost like, uh, I, I see a sword, like a sword, almost like they are, have clarity right now, but a lot of pain with that. And the pain is emotional mental not physical but i feel like this person's been rendered it's like i've gotten whatever i wanted i was so focused on it and now look bottom of the deck the five of pentacles we have in lack we are in lack this partnership with your other person you're not speaking at all right now um, this one jumped on my lap so i'll have to take that in a minute as well we'll look at that in a moment <clears throat> you're not speaking right now. This person has frozen you out of their life, vice versa. There is no communication. They feel extremely distant. They feel confused. They don't know. Like, they were on a path, and now the path is all full of snow. So, not only are things really cold and icy, I feel like there's no warmth in their relationship right now, but they feel really confused as to, like, where to proceed. If you notice, the body's facing one way, and yet they're looking back, and it's like, okay, they're looking back at you. It's almost like they're saying, um, you know, in spite of everything, you you helped me to see things clear. I know that you have gifts or clairsentient. Um, you could be very psychic yourself or a budding psychic from what they could remember. You could have some, um, a lot of spiritual gifts. I feel like that grounded in like spirit. And I feel like they wanna look back and even ask for your counsel. And look, the star's right here. So I feel like that star that we saw earlier that was, you know, focused on money, they realized that that's not, that was a false star. That was a drawn star. This is a real star. And this is family and being close and a lot of solar plexus and desire. I feel like they have a desire because the higher thing came out they wish and they wonder how things would have turned if they would have kind of kept their connection with you, if they would have just chosen you instead of the love of money, the love of material things, the love of rulership. 
of dogma of being obsessed with status and climbing the social ladder that really never got them exactly what they wanted. I do feel like they had material things. Let's find out. Okay, that's the relationship. All right, now I'd like to know a little bit more about what's going on right now. They're playing house with another. I already see that their heart is not into it. They are definitely thinking and looking back to you. Oh, crap. Okay. All these came out and they came out sideways. So we're going to look and see what the problem is. The fool, they want to take a chance with you and they don't. I feel like they have like information about you or birds, like a higher view, a bird's eye view about you. And then they don't. It's like they see, but then they don't. They could be spying on your social media. They could be um, having other people in their ear telling you, telling them stuff about you. So there's a lot of looking back, glancing back, and it's almost like I'm tempted to run back, okay? The Fool is always about a new journey, about traveling light, about setting aside your personal baggage and landed sideways, which tells me they think about it and then they, they're like, no, I can't do that or whatever, okay? It's off and on. This is like laying sideways. So look at this queen and she is grieving. Maybe she got some messages, a letter, whatever the case may be. So this is, again, I feel like embodying you, their idea of you now, because some time has passed. You were the daughter of water, perhaps you were just developing your gifts and things like that. Now you're the queen of chalices, okay, queen of cups. They feel like they have seen kind of you glow up, grow up, or transform with all of this mist. It's like you get your downloads, your messages, um, and they can even see that perhaps this has caused you grief in your life, even away from them, um, or that that's what they are thinking. So it's sideways and it's like, well, it's almost like my head hurts. I'm looking at the past. And so they're, they think they have a clear picture of you and this is like messages. So they feel like if they sent you a message that you would be brought back to that space of like sadness of even tears or whatever. And they want to be there to console you. You can't make this up, but they go like up and down with it. Okay. They want to share the fruits at your table. It's almost like this person's visiting. Um, and it's almost like they're in two different dimensions. Okay. She's in one almost monochromatic with these colors. And this person has a vibrant, um, red. This person can also be saying like, you're the one that makes me feel secure in spite of all this material stuff, you make me feel secure. And then it goes away and back and forth they go. That's your mindset towards you now. The four of pentacles it's like they want to withhold their emotions they, they want to communicate back and forth they go okay they look and see and take stock of what it is that they're feeling emotionally how things have progressed over time how they feel currently versus how they felt back then and they have i feel like they have kids okay they may have up to four kids but i'm feeling like this person is a little bit like i put in all this work and stuff like that i don't want to just give up but they want to share what it is that's on their mind with you or their emotions or their situation. It goes back and forth. They're looking, they're covered. Like, what can I make with this? Okay, all the ingredients. And it's almost like, do I have the ingredients to communicate at this point in time? There's a lot of self doubt for this person. This person has been in her mode for a while. I feel like they're studying. They're trying to study they're trying to decompress. They're trying to really enjoy what it is that they have right now, enjoying their person right now. Cause I do feel like this is um, a relationship, situationship, a marriage or whatever the case may be. Um, but I feel like this is more of a facade. I'm trying to convince myself that all is well. Meanwhile, a lot is churning on the inside, which is why this person is like a double mindedness. I feel like they could have dreams about you or a spirit telling them that things are not right where they're at right now. And keep in mind, you know, I think, yeah, these readings are a little bit toxic because we're peeking at, you know, somebody that isn't with us that doesn't, you know, obviously not in your energy field. So never put your life on hold for another person ever. Always leave your options open and moving forward. Keep it moving always because regardless of what they do or don't do, we're responsible for ourselves. But I feel like this person is um, in the middle of trying to manifest, manifest something different. But their mindset is that, oh, I'm fine. I, I'm doing well. 
even with all the green heart chakra, I feel like they're trying to convince themselves that things are going super well. And yet they're mad studying, mad studying in the night, in the dark about you. And this goes on and off. Thinking that because they have bubbles, that that equals a life of luxury and it just doesn't, okay? So the Ace of Wands right here, and this is like, a lot of fire oh also I don't know if I mentioned yeah um, I feel like their security lies in you they realize that security wasn't in the riches or in the money or in the cars that they were promised or in this life that they thought that they would have with this other person even though they attain those things they are um, a huge vacuum it left them void on the inside of course when you consume things that uh, it's like having like no calories in something and you're eating a whole bag of like chips let's say Griselle this message is for me but you're eating a whole bag of chips and it's like, what the hell? This is not helping your body to be its best. There's no nutritional value in it, things like that. So that is what their life is right now. And it, and then it makes you crave and hunger for, you know, and it's an endless cycle. It's like, you need to put good things in your body. This person realizes or feels that you are their security, but then they get the oomph. It's like, I really desire to kind of go back or talk about things or do something I feel like there's like real desires sexual desire there's mental emotional desire okay and I feel like you have a lot of fire within you um, that they think about and you kind of turn them on in many different ways I'm looking at different colored candles so even their sacral chakra like your sensuality about you I feel like you're rooted you're dependable and even like the yellow solar plexus when you get fired up about something you go after it like things like that and i feel like they want to have that with you as well but they go back and forth okay double-minded this person is the number six of wands six of wands this is like you know being um praised having a lot of admirers wanting to climb all the way up and this reminds me of, like an amethyst um tower or stone so this person is climbing a healing path they're having to heal a lot of wounds that they themselves caused and they can't really see a way out of it and so at times they want to start to do the work and then they don't and they know that the only way to reach you and attain <clears throat> your level um to be even on the same page and um is to go ahead and to ascend this amethyst rock and do a lot of inner healing that's what's needed but then they're like yeah i want it and then like fuck it i don't want to it's too hard well you know what it is hard you did it the nine of wands so this person can be defensive and not defensive defensive and not defensive they have been hurt quite a bit because of their own hand okay they have no one else to blame oh i heard but you okay so they could they could blame you actually weird interesting let's get a little bit clarifying cards here this turned out to be a lot more about you and them present and past i'd like to know a little bit more about this person that left the playhouse with another we'd like to peek a little bit into their relationship their current circumstances show me now the knave of pentacles are moving super slow see they're in the middle of the woods like they're in the woods they can't see the forest for the woods so they're feeling super lost they're trying to connect with you trying to spy on you glean any morsel of information that might fill that belly but what they don't understand is they really need to kind of explore themselves more okay and they're coming super slow so it's like oh, okay i have that information and i get that so i feel like they're going behind their partner's back and they're doing this when their partner isn't around or they actually drive somewhere secluded and say they're going to work or leave for work early um and that way they can kind of like try to spy on you and do whatever it is that they do feeling nostalgic feeling like well how can i make my way back or what am i thinking you know um not realizing that that's not the way to handle things look bottom of the deck two of wands they have a choice to make and they know it damn well and i feel like they're getting even their spiritual downloads and look again they want that commitment with you the empress you got the empress this is all about sensuality. They know that you are a healer. I feel like you guys are healers, light workers. 
Um, you could be in the caretaking profession even, whether mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, nursing, um, Reiki, any of those professions, counseling, things like that. But, you know, here I feel like it's even the vibe of, you know, you had a commitment and this was a start. It's almost like thinking, wow, I, I want what I used to have, okay? And I feel like their partner knows it. Look, the knave of chalices. I feel like they're trying to look into looking glass. This person could have had a reading about you. And look, they're like sentimental, thinking about, oh, remember the times. And um, this person is still in a lot of ways in love with their image. They love their image and maybe what this other person has been able to do for them. Even though emotionally they feel like they are just in ice and like wanting but materially they may be doing pretty well um stick in their hand in water i feel like they're trying to cross over into a different realm changing their mind about what it is you know what do you care how people see you if you're feeling empty and you're feeling alone and iced out the way the other picture showed um what does it matter people's opinions and i feel like they're trying to get a deeper perspective but all they can see is their self image but there's a lot of nostalgia and a lot of like looking back um even thinking about like how you used to look at them and i feel like that is no longer the case and they damn well know it okay this person's appearance could have changed a lot since you knew each other and that brings me back to the hangman so they're just kind of sitting around um, trying to gain a better perspective they could even be trying to meditate gain a higher perspective asking god's spirit whomever to really help them to see things differently and i feel like look this person it's almost like it's an empty room or a um this is where they get serious with themselves is not at home it's not safe to do that they go and they meditate and they think about things um, in order to like how to progress and stuff outside of the house. Maybe like a place that they used to live or places where you used to live in the parking lot, things like that. Um, and they're really trying to gain a higher perspective. All right, this person is on a fence. And again, two swords, they can't come to any sort of conclusion. Even though there is a lot of emotion behind them, there is definitely a stalemate here. There is, um, they might even start at times to try to meditate a little bit to get into connection with you. But I feel like this stalemate, it's like even their meditation is wrong. It's like they're trying to run when they need to kind of crawl. Um, I feel like this person even tries to sit there and connect with you on the astral plane and you might even feel that energy tugging at you But it's all wrong. They need to connect with themselves and connect with spirit and ground themselves In order to gain clarity look at all the clouds right here. Things are stormy. Things are stormy at their household. They are obsessed They're obsessed with having a double quadruple scoop of you and I feel like their mate knows it they like to dabble. I don't feel like they're faithful at all, by the way. They're led by their demons. Part of their demons is their image and having their image constantly stroked. This could have been a problem in your relationship. It's like they were trying to gain attention, seeking attention from multiple people, as we saw with the climbing of the Amethyst Tower there and trying to taste every flavor that is out there and yet pretending to be committed. It is not... Um, a bad thing to check out your options if you're just upfront about it but look this person has been caught red-handed dabbling dabbling with other people other women other men they want the cherry on top and yet everywhere they go i feel like they look for your face they look for your body for your touch i feel like your touch was very comforting to them and they still can't find it Maybe they're hoping that you communicate with them because they're just waiting. They're waiting for either a message if you communicate with them or a message that will help them alter their future. This could be money, waiting on a situation to kind of resolve and play out so they can move on. Post. Post. Maybe they're looking at your posts on uh Instagram, Facebook, uh, whatever, TikTok, waiting for you to post something that opens the way for them or gives them the clear green to come your way. 
as I see a lot of the yellow here, but this is just like waiting, a lot of self-care, protecting themselves. And I feel like when they're in their own home and their partner might light candles, and when, when that happens, they're looking at the candle, kind of in a semi-trance, but they're thinking about you. Look. Because you are ultimately their happiness. Or that's what they're thinking. Now, whether in reality, if this person can ever be happy because they're seeking happiness from the outside sources everywhere, that's entirely up to them. But in their mind right now, they think, well, I wonder what it would have been like if I would have bound my life with them, if I would have chosen them instead, if I would have, you know, not, not done what I did, that kind of a thing. They wonder if they would have played house with you instead and chosen you, if things would have gone better because they feel like they would have had ultimate happiness with you. That you bring an earthiness, that you bring a, is it normalcy? Normal, I don't know how to pronounce it. A sense of being normal, huh? Um, that, but you bring a balance and you bring all of the emotional um, gratification that they are seeking that they cannot find in buying a new car, in buying a colonial home, in buying a mansion, in buying the latest and the greatest watches and fine clothing. That lasts only but a minute. And I feel like their ego gets boosted in a flash by other people, but ultimately there's no emotional satisfaction in that. Not anything real and tangible. So the Queen of Pentacles right here. They feel like, okay, that's the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is more of their current partner. So she could be, or he could be the breadwinner. We're not reading sex, we read energy. So if it's male, male, female, female, or male, female, I don't care. I feel like this other person is very grounded. They bring home the bacon, so to speak. They're very earthy, very dependable, reliable, but I feel like this person is bored. They're bored with them. They have everything, like all the comforts, physical comforts. But look, it's not you. You're the one that ignites passion. They're trying to figure out how to change in order to come close to you. I feel like they even might see you as goddess of the earth, even though we have that queen of pentacles here. This is almost like a goddess um, that helps ground them, even though you are more of a water element or you're coming across as like the empress. You've been all of the queens. It's like you're the one that feels their fire. They want to change in order to come closer to you. You could have had red hair or have hair, red hair right now and they could really like that about you and look there's not even one like candle here it's like they know that they can't play with fire that's why there's been no communication because to do that there would be dire dire consequences in order to do that they need to transform and change and even though that's what they desire there's no fire here they're afraid to light that fuse. Look, what I tell you, there's a desire. They want to run away. This person that they're with is not bad. I know y'all want to hear that they're an awful person, that they're ugly, that they're fat, that they're lazy. It's not true. This person is stable, dependable, and I feel like this person is jealous. This person covets them as well and your person wants to run away. I feel like some time has passed. They've been with them for some time, whatever, you know, it could feel like a million years when you're in your 20s, if you're with someone for a year or two. So some time has passed, but they wanna run away. They want to grab their running shoes and say, I'm gonna go out for a run and never come back. They see the path. They want to take action. That's what they want to do. And why? The strength card is about desire. It's about fire. It's about sexiness. It's about wanting to be intimate with you. But also with all the root chakra, again, you are their safety. You are their stability. No one has ever made this person feel the way you do. Grounded, cared for, wanted, loved. Also, you gave them the ability when they didn't believe in themselves. You believe in them. You're like, yeah, you can make this grow. 
yeah, you have everything it takes. Just focus on that. Put some effort. You're doing good, babe. You were that cheerleader. And since then, they haven't felt the same. They've heard similar words, but it, they haven't felt it on a core level. I feel like this person also can come from a very dry, <clears throat> rough terrain, a background where they weren't supported. They weren't watered. They weren't looked after. They had to look after themselves growing up and perhaps other people, other siblings. <clears throat> and that's where their desire to need to be seen comes from. It's like they have this hunger to be seen by everybody else because they weren't seen growing up as a child. And I know that that's not your problem, but here we are. We're just talking. We're just talking. Deep desire to want to run away. They know that the more that time passes, time passes so slowly for them. It's like, oh my God, agonizing. If they've been together for two years, it's like it's felt like five or six, that kind of a thing. If I feel like I'm aging, I feel like I need to run away. I need to run away to what really makes me feel secure. And this sacral chakra is also being highlighted here. This is what they want. It's touching their heart chakra, which tells me that they desire that sensuality, that feeling of that they had with you that all is sunny and that there is a fire and that you can continue changing that fire and fire has many different colors it has reds and blues and greens and yellows and and white even um and purple so depending i feel like this is what they experienced with you in the past is so much more a a wealth of emotion, a wealth of desire. And I feel like they had the whole, what they call it? A buffet. It was like a buffet of sensuality. Maybe you guys explored a lot of different things sexually together, but now they have homegrown. Nothing wrong with that, but they're wanting to run away. That's not what they want. <clears throat> yep. Like their relation, look, their significant other is pissed off. I feel like they're getting communication acknowledgement that this person is wanting to run away or planning to leave or not sticking around major tower moment look at all these ghosts this person your person has cheated um has stepped out has done other stuff has not been faithful mentally emotionally spiritually it definitely i feel like it all stems and it comes back to you but this person is pissed they could be throwing stuff in the house breaking things infuriated that they can't keep their attention this person has tried it's not going to be pleasant it's going to rock everybody's world so things are going to get ugly um things can get even physically violent but they have to deal with all of these ghosts from the past that your person continues to carry with them this person isn't going to let go easily either. It's like, no, you're committed. You're in it. We have a kid or two or whatever the case may be. I feel like there's an infant involved, maybe like three to five years old, that kind of an age also. And that's why this person is like, you, you know, you're in it. You're done. There are no options for you. You chose when you got me pregnant kind of a thing. Fatal attraction, I heard. And this person's trying to run from responsibility as usual. Looking at what they deposited in the relationship. Is it worth investing any further? I've already had one, two, three years. I have a kid, two kids. Is it worth continuing this investment? Am I getting a reward for what it is that I'm put, putting in? I heard the word plotting. They're just kind of one foot in front of the other. Look, they may have a lot of chaos in their life right now. A lot of chaos. When I get in the car, kids are all loud. Maybe loud music. Nobody's paying attention. People are fighting, struggling. And yet I'm being led to see the rear view mirror. It's always the thought behind this person. It's like I've left things behind to put myself in this situation. And I feel like they could have a looky-loo as well. Somebody who is always watching them and reporting to the other person, the mom or the other dad. Whatever the case may be, um, your, uh, their person can have like other kids and they're smart and savvy. And it's like, oh, I saw so-and-so. They were on the phone with somebody saying, I love you. Or can they see you? Or it sounded like, you know. So this person is um, 
young person is smarter than they gave him credit for. Conniving, cunning, but a lot, a lot of fights, a lot of noise. There is no quiet. There is no quiet when they come home. It's all yelling. It's things spoken in anger. It's a silent treatment. It's breaking plates. It's throwing stuff. A lot, a lot of chaos. And yet when they get out of this vehicle, they all smile all pretty. Like all is well. All is definitely not well. They're longing for stability. I feel like from here it's real autumn, whenever that is, that you happen to uh, watch this. They are going to have a change of heart. They're going to realize that they're going to have to do something incredibly different in order to connect. I have the cat right here. Um, I feel like they might even want to come back. You might get communication sometime in the fall, whatever your uh, time zone is or whatever the case may be. But I feel like they're willing at this point to leave it all behind. They're not wanting to do, yeah, look, leave it all behind and pursue the Nine of Cups. That is their wish is to be in, look, in a relationship with you in your sphere of reality. They know it's going to take work, but they feel like this is faded. They feel like your connection is faded. And they're trying to convince themselves that they're happy right now, but they feel like this connection is faded. They will take measures to kind of come your way and build things. But it's going to be very, very difficult, and they know that they have to put in work and the labor. You're going to put them through patience if they ever contact you again. There's a lot that has to be explained, and they're almost afraid that the burden is so heavy that they can't even carry it alone. If you want to make this work, this will be something that they'll have to um, take the issues maybe one at a time or a collaborative effort with a therapist or something like that. But in reality, this is how the only way to fix relationships, if that's what you have in mind. Because I feel like that's where they're headed, but they're not quite there yet. Yeah, it's exhausting. Look, then they get all trapped in their head. They do all this research and they're like, what's the point? I can't even do anything. They're never going to want me again. The eight of swords, I'm trapped in my head. I have all this chaos. All the kids' toys are everywhere. I can't think. What am I going to do? They're trying to manifest, trying to understand, but then they give up. So they have a couple more cycles before they give, um, they give up the bullshit, okay? Any last messages? And it's your choice. Your choice if you want to go back. If you don't, totally your choice. Okay, they left, the, they left you to play house with another. Let's take a look. What do I need to see? Some closing thoughts and show me now. Look, they're gonna follow their North Node. What the hell? <laughs> North Node, life purpose, journey, karmic destiny, learning, period, path, the challenge, fulfillment. Look, they're going to start to think that this was simply a learning curve. That they had to undergo this in order to level up, glow up, to follow the true norm, their north node. They're going to start to think that they have been on a journey, a karmic destiny. That this was simply a learning period. That now they see the path. Be interesting. They see the path. <gasps> I just dropped that all to hell, you guys. You saw it here. The path is them leaving. But they have to. If they plan on doing something like that, be responsible, you know? You got to be responsible. Running away has never solved a damn thing. We got to face it. So I feel like in the future, they're going to want to follow their north node. And they're going to see things completely different. And I feel like then they're going to find a sense of self-worth, their moral compass, their real star, their north node. I feel like then spirit will crown and bless them and help them. And I'm not saying that, oh, you know, this means they're going to come towards you. That is entirely your guys' choice, if so. That is, I do see that's what they want. 
but even more important than that is both of you guys following your north node your true life purpose your destiny fulfilling your life purpose understanding the challenges and willing to get in there get dirty and overcome them to fight for what it is that you want to be on your true path on a true path and not necessarily just running away from things so i feel like um that is i'm gonna leave it here this is all the information i have it's gonna be up to them to decide am i running away or am i following a path you see how different those two ideologies are so i hope that this made sense if you enjoyed this kind of reading please do smash the like button share comment subscribe let me in the comments below what it is that you thought about the reading or what you think about the intro. Much love to you. Until next time, namaste.